for that holster. Are you pressing Redden? That's me. I hear you're the best gunslinger around. You challenging me? No. I'm gonna kill you. Listen up. I'm Robert Alley, the first of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Dogma's now my town. Anybody got a problem with me or what I just did? Then draw your pistols now. I didn't think so. I didn't say you could sit there. And I didn't ask. You got a problem with me, boy? Boy? Better choose a better word, son. Or what? Or else you're gonna end up like that poor soul over there on the floor. That's some of my handiwork. So you're Robert Alley? Are oh, you a marshal? I hate marshals. I hate scum like you. All right, that's enough. Either you get up and get out of here, or we're going to war. So how about you present me with this war, and I'll show you a lesson in death. OK, Poncho. trouble. I ain't here to cause you no trouble. But you do know there's three more of those outlaws coming into this town, don't you? What you mean by that? Well, I'm a bounty hunter. My name's Leon Copper. And that son of a bitch over there on the floor is one of four outlaws that come in and take over little small towns just like this one. They hit Gordo, a town just north of here, about three weeks ago. So you're telling me there are three more on the way? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Usually the first one comes in, kills out all the gunslingers in town. The second one comes in, takes over the marshal's office. The third one will come in and take over the supply store. And I guess that one right there come in and took over this bar. So when are these other three coming? Sometimes they come back to back, but you never know. But I've been paid $500 a head, and I just got my first one out of that bastard right over there. Mister, I appreciate that. I'm not looking for appreciation. I don't give a shit about this shit whole town. Parker's always sleeping. You always reading. How come? Keeps me informed. Landon, I'm worried about Robin. Probably ain't sent the message yet. If it don't come by tomorrow, I'll send Parker. Maybe if the signal doesn't come, the two of us go. Then we risk having all of us taken out. We stick to the plan. Remember the job we did in Gordo? Yeah. 
I got shot. Well, that wasn't planned as well as dogma. We are not invincible. I'm solid as a brick wall. Well, Landon, I'm not. Don't worry about it. Get some sleep. Watch your step now. Don't step on Sleeping Beauty. Y'all need some help getting that roof framed up? Let me know. Hey, Dr. Wiley. Hi, Frank. What you building? Uh, my new office. Kind of big, isn't it? Yeah, the doctor's office is going to be there, and the undertaker's office is going to be over there. Take them dead or alive, huh? I'd rather have them living, Frank. That way they keep coming back. Well, that's good business. Good to see you, Doc. Later, Frank. Ma, Ma. Slow down, slow down. What is it? The town. What are you trying to say? The town. <coughs> there was a gunfight yesterday. Two men got killed. And... I sent you to town for flour, and you come back with this? I'll get the flour. They're on their way. Sit down. Tell me the news. <sighs> I met Mr. Spellings. He told me about this bounty hunter. He killed this bandit. The bandit killed Preston Redden first. Preston Redden? He was a decent man. Who'd want to kill him? I don't know, Mama. M m maybe, uh, it was over gambling or something like that. You see? You see? Look what that teaches you. You stay out of that, you hear me? I know. I know, Mama. <sighs> Who's this, Mama? This is Jane Carmel and her uncle. He's leaving her here with us for a few days. Nice to meet you, Jane. Nice to meet you, too. I don't think I heard her name, though. Uh, forgot that part. William. I'm William. Pleased to meet you. Go wash up. Supper's almost ready. Looks like you're living in the past. Hell, that war's been over with for 10 years. Sometime all you got to live for is the past. I guess so, but all I got to live for is the future. Are you the owner? Yes, I am. Frank. Frank Spellings. My wife, Patricia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name? Name's Leon. I'm looking to buy some arsenal. What do you got? Well, I've got coats, shotguns. I've got a 45 handgun. I've got something that I think you'd be interested in. Got something here to kill them dead in the tracks. There's a lot of Yankees with that gun right there. You got some ammo for this gun? Sure do. I'll take it. So how was the war? Well, according to them damn Yankees, we lost. <laughs> yeah, what I recall. What else can I get you? That'll be all. You're a long way from home, ain't you? Yeah, peace and quiet makes up for it. Well, that's all about to change. You're not fixing to cause any trouble, are you? Look, I don't want to be here no more than you want me to be here. Why don't you just get your stuff and be on your way? What oh? You don't owe me nothing. I hear you hunting outlaws. Just shoot one of those outlaws for me. Sounds like a deal. By the way, uh, you know a place I can rest up? Catherine, out by the horse farm? 
just a couple miles outside of town. Decent price, good food too. Thank y'all, head that way. This your place? It is. Well, I won't be staying long. Are you that bounty hunter? Yes, ma'am. I was only asking. Do I know you? I don't play that game. Know how many times I've gotten that. Oh, I don't mean to offend you. I won't be here long. I'll be out of your hair. Would your name be Leon? Leon Copper, to be precise. Catherine? Oh my goodness. I thought you died. No. Ever since I left that day, I've been traveling the West. Well, enjoy your stay. I think he's in trouble, Lenny. He's supposed to pay someone to deliver a message. What's the plan? Go investigate. I want Jarson to come on in. I'm ready for this to be our last job. Listen to me. Before you know it, we'd be rich and free. I hope so. You need to get your head on straight and do your damn job. You're not the one risking your life yet. I could be dead by night. If you don't get on that damn horse, I'll kill you myself. Good luck, partner. Luck is for heroes, Jarson. I'm not a hero. Okay, just be on your way. Mr. Spellings, what is that? It's a camera, William. You mean for uh, pictures? All I need is this little piece of tin. Ain't that a hoop? Put your hair up under your hat, William. I'm going to take a picture of you, boy. Oh, just do it. Come on. Be perfectly still now, William. Perfectly still. How long do I have to stay perfectly still? William, see those bottles over there? I want you to pull fast and shoot me one of them. Come on, William. Give it another try. William, don't aim. Shoot from the hip. I can't do that. I'm gonna miss. Listen to me, boy. Keep your eye on the bottles. That's good. Again. Nice, isn't it? Nothing else like it. What are you doing around these parts? I'm going to see my dad in Gordo. You always travel alone? I was raised around three brothers and a cattle ranger for a dad. I can take care of myself. I admire that. What you do around here? Chores. Help my mother. But I 
got to make something of myself. How do you expect to do that? I haven't quite figured that out. Who could this be? Whoa, hold up there, mister. What's the trouble, Marshal? No outsiders allowed in these parts. I need water. And supplies, too. Like I said, town's been shut down. Nobody in, nobody out. That's too bad, Marshal. You best be on your way. God ain't gonna help your soul, Marshal. Mister, is this your store? Yeah, it is. I need some bullets. Be fast with it. Don't you see I'm busy? I said now, not later. What kind of bullets you need? I need 45 Colts for this revolver. I see. Yeah, you do see. Now give me those bullets and I'll be on my way. Are you robbing me? Let's say I'm doing you a favor. It's better than being dead. Catherine. Look. I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. I see you kept the necklace. Yeah, that's all I had to remember you by. I had a lot to remember you by. William, I'd like you to meet Leon. Leon Copper. Hey, Mr. Copper. Hey, William. Nice to meet you. Uh, my friends call me Billy. Ma, is it all right if I go into town? You might not want to go into town right now. There's some bad people coming into this area. He's right. Go on out and chop some wood. Ma, I ain't still a kid. You always treat me like I'm a kid. Go and do what I said. Yes, ma'am. Are you suggesting to me he's my kid? I'm not suggesting anything. You can accept it or not. Why didn't you try to find me? I did. Every time I got close, you'd off to another location. I never could pinpoint where you were going. I'm sorry, Catherine. If only I'd have known. Well, you do now. Hey, mister. Mr. Spellings here says you robbed this store. You're under arrest. The marshal's talking to you. He's a liar. Along with me. Don't do it. You killed him. I got a bone to pick with you. I got a dead deputy. How'd that happen? We were just in a shootout. They had to kill a man. Marshal, you just took money out of my pocket. This isn't about money anymore, Mr. Copper. This town is under attack and we're running out of time. He's right. So you want me to team up with you two? 
Yes, let's hunt these bastards, pardon me, ma'am, down together. One has been and one marshal. I'll take these two by myself. Damn it, Landon, I'm tired of waiting. Well, if you're tired of waiting, get on that horse and go to town. You sure about that? If you're so anxious, go ahead. I'm tired of your whining. No more playing games. So what are you going to do? I'm going to get the last two by myself. Why are you going to them if they're coming here anyway? Let me ask you something, Catherine. How would you feel if I was around more? It wouldn't hurt you to spend some time with William. Well, I'll make you a promise. After I take care of this, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to tell William that I'm his father. So you're coming back then, right? I won't put you through this again. William's my heart. I want what we never got to experience. A family. Look, I can't keep living like I've been living. I understand. Just be careful. I always am. That Leon fellow, he isn't too friendly, is he? I think he's more interested in the money than anything else. Those outlaws take over. This town won't stand a chance. We need more men, Marshal. I think we can handle them, Frank. I fight beside you, but we need more men. All right, make an announcement. I think we can get a few if they know the town is at risk. I hope so. Listen to me, man. This town's being attacked by a gang of outlaws. We need every man that can shoot to pick up a gun. You heard the man. We need to stand up to these outlaws. No offense, Marshal. I'm not joining in the fighting unless the fighting comes to me. If they come in here, I'll take care of them. Like you took care of Robert Alley? That's what I thought. Is anyone with me? I'll remember this. I'm with you, Marshal. I'm not a gunslinger, but I can help. Well, who'd you get? The rest of them just don't give a damn. I can be of some help, Frank. Give him a gun. You ever shot a man? I served shots. But when you shoot, don't hesitate. I won't. How many outlaws are still alive? Should be two left if I'm correct. I mean, there's only two of them? I heard there was four, but you never can tell. So this is all of us? Pretty much. There's that bounty hunter, too. I remember him. Real badass he thinks he is. Well, he shot one of them so far. He's going out after the other two instead of waiting for them to come into town. Well, what do you want me to do in the meantime? Keep an eye out. Okay, Marshal. Virgil, I was just over talking to Mary Alice at the pond. Mm-hmm. And what'd she have to say? She said a band of outlaws might be headed this way. She says a lot of things. Well, she heard this from the marshal in Dogma. Well, I guess I need to go talk to the marshal.
Who are you? Just a traveler, looking for a place to lay my head. Let's talk outside. Look, friend, we don't take in strangers here. Them's the rules, huh? Yep. How much would it cost to bend those rules? You best be on your way. There ain't no call for nothing like that. Damn it, you people need to learn the meaning of the word hospitality. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Frank, come on in. How you been? Good as I can be. How about you? I've been good, but we got some problems. Yeah, I know. This town's going to hell and back. We need to talk. What can you tell me about this Leon fellow? More than I'd like to tell you. What you mean? He's William's father. I met him 20 years ago in Carson City. Did he come here for you? No, he didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he was until I saw the necklace. That glass bullet necklace he was wearing? Yeah, I had a blacksmith make that necklace for him. He was only supposed to be gone for a few days, but he never came back. You forgave him for that yet? I have no ill will towards him. He gave me the best thing that ever happened to me. Every day I see William, I remember what I live for. What was he before he became a bounty hunter? A marshal. A damn good one. He was supposed to be going after Pete Holling. Last thing I heard was that Pete got shot in cold blood. Leon got accused of it. That's why he left. That's why I don't have any ill will towards him. So he's a marshal, huh? Damn good one.
doing around these parts? Just passing through, Marshal. You sure about that? I'm just here to stay the night, and I'll be heading out by morning. How about you head out before nightfall? We got too much going on around here to worry about drifters. If you say so, Marshal. I do. Finish your business here and get out of town. What did that man say to you? Not a lot of anything, Marshal. Ask for a couple shots of whiskey and then you came. I think you might be one of those outlaws. Not sure, though. I'll keep my eye out for you. I'll let you know what's going around. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for going on a walk with me. It is both time to talk. I was hoping we could maybe see each other again. You ever see yourself settling down? If I can find the right circumstances, I want to have a horse farm. That sounds mighty fine. So you really like horses? I love everything about them. How about you? Huh. They're good for when you need them. You any good with that? I forgot I had it on. You... You could say I'm learning the ropes. Well, that's a relief. Especially with all this killing going on. That's why I don't want to head to Gordo just yet. So long as you're with me. We'll get through this until it's settled. You don't have to say a word. I know what you're here for. All right. What then? Demons. Demons that hide themselves in bad men. So have you seen those men? Mister, I used to be a preacher. I'm very much aware of these men. Well, I killed one of them already. You can't kill what already walks dead! You make no sense. You know where these men are? Mister, there's been too much killing. Well, I'm afraid there's gonna have to be a little bit more before this thing is done. Much obliged. You might find what you're looking for. You might. You might!
You might find what you're looking for. Mind if I join you? What are you doing around here? Ain't nobody comes around here. I'm looking for outlaws. Have you seen any? Well, hell, you're looking at two of them right now. You want to try me? Looks like you're outnumbered. I may be outnumbered, but you die first. How about you hold your pistol and we'll hold ours? Sounds good. Tell me what you know. Came through here a while back. When? A couple of days ago. Heard they were heading for Dogma. That's where I need to be right now. Well, you're heading in the wrong direction. Yeah, I figured that. Hey, what's the deal with that crazy preacher out there? You seen the preacher? Yeah, I saw the preacher. Well, now, not everybody's seen the preacher. The hell is that supposed to mean? Don't mean nothing. Some folks seen him, some don't. That's all. I'm gonna hit the trail. You people talking riddles around here. Just remember, we did you a favor. If you say so. I'm not coming back. What you mean? I got shot, man. Left a drop in the sun. That can't be true. Me and Parker are dead. I don't believe that. You can't be dead. You're right here next to me. The shadow of death is waiting for you if you don't leave now. You expect me to leave? It's just you and Charles. It's the whole town. I can't do that, Robert. Remember how the job in Gardo went up in flames? The plan will work. The gang is more prepared this time. I'm going now, Lando. I'll get more men. I'll go after the ones who did this to you. It's good to know you. job for my cold dead fingers. I don't want to kill you, Marshal. 
I'm holding down your guns in office, though. If you make this a problem, I'll put a bullet through you. What's the matter? My office was taken over by one of those bandits. Kill anybody? No, he didn't even take a shot at me. Just said let him be and no harm would come. Figured we'd put together a plan. Let's let him get comfortable. Then we'll take him. I am sick of this. That bounty hunter's not taking him out like he said he was. Found out something about a bounty hunter. What's that? He was a lawman, just like you. Really? Yes, it was. Where'd you come across this? I have my ways. Where you suppose he is now? I'm thinking he's on his way back here. Vista Infirmary? Yes, it is. Who the hell are you? None of your damn business. Hello. Uh, Mr. Fiction? Yes, ma'am? The doctor will see you in about 10 minutes. I can't believe Rodney lost his leg. Damn, mine collapsed. Third time this month, right? Won't be the last time I can bet you that. You guys up for a game of cards later? Only if you won't lose your whole day's pay. I hate waiting in this hell hole. All the nurse is gonna do is take a look at us and send us back. I got a proposition for you boys. We don't want no business with you. Wait, let's give the man a chance to talk. Hell, what can we lose? A lung? He's probably looking for a job. There ain't no jobs around these parts, mister. You boys ever thought about being outlaws? Take the future into your own hands. Make a hell of a lot more money. The three of us don't even know how to use a gun. You trying to recruit us to commit crimes? I got money. A lot of it. Half up front, half when the job's done. You're not pulling our leg. I have horses, guns, and supplies. Also need us a gang riding me to Dogma. That's about 20 miles from here. Sounds a lot better than giving your life to the mines. Well, what's everybody's name? Well, I'm Jordan. Luther. Name's Stephen. Okay, Luther, Jordan, and Stephen. I'm Landon. It sounds a bit risky. I got a sister and I'm her provider. Hey, working in these coal mines every day is risky. You never know whether you're coming back or not. What about all that money? Think about how much that could help you and her. Won't help her if I'm dead. Sorry, fellas, but I can't risk that. I got a plan, boys. We ride at night, in the morning we'll be in Dolma. There won't be much opposition after they see what we can do. What about the townspeople? The hell with the townspeople. I think they killed my partner, Robert. Robert Allen? Old man? Yeah, what do you know about it? I was just in Dogma. Your man Alec got into a scrap with the bounty hunter. So what happened? Your man didn't make it. We need at least one more man for this job. Any of you boys got any ideas? I have a brother-in-law. Lives back in the edge of the woods, near the mines. His name's Elrich. He's, uh, he's not too bright in the head, and he's got kind of a pot belly, bless his heart, but he's slick with a shotgun, and he loves the smell of money. So, we'll get Luther to pick him up, since he's out near them parts. This is money. Keep some for yourself, give the rest to him. Tell him to meet us in Dalman tomorrow. 
As to you two, we got a ride in store for us. Luther, the doctor can see you now. Sounds like a deal. Outlaw, I'm talking to you. What you want, old timer? I'll make you a deal. But you walk out a free man if you leave and never come back. You let me walk free, just that easy. That's my word. Come on with your hands up. I guess I'm taking you to your grave, Marshal. We don't want no trouble, mister. Just put your guns down and step out nice and easy. You don't want no trouble? You killed two of my partners. I'm warning you for the last time. Drop your guns and step out with your hands up, or I'll be forced to fire. Go ahead and fire, Marshal. I'm not giving myself up. You boys gonna stand and fight? I don't want any cowards. I know I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? Whoa, 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 Landon, he don't mean anything but. You need to know this ain't no job for just anyone. We know that. It's nothing to play around with. The first time one of y'all hesitates, it could cost one of us our lives. When do we split up? Me and Steven take the south entrance in the morning. You head to town and stick to yourself until we get there. What's the plan once you two get there? Kill everyone. It's a nice evening tonight, isn't it? Be better if I can go into town. Now you listen to me. That town's dangerous right now. You hear me? I want to be a gunslinger, and uh, I've been practicing with Mr. Spellings uh, on my free days from chores. You've been what? Well, Mr. Spellings said I needed to know my way around a gun. And, uh, how to use one. I'm disappointed in you. Well, I'm growing up, Mom. There's a lot of bad people out there. Well, uh, I'm a good person. And I need to know how to protect myself. Well, I understand that. I just wish you'd told me. I just did. I meant before. Sorry, Mama. Well, there's something important I need to tell you anyway. Uh, what is it? You remember Mr. Copper? Yeah, the bounty hunter. Yeah, well, we were friends a long time ago. Well, what I meant to say was, he's your father. What? I thought my father was dead. I did too. I didn't think I'd ever see him again. Did he come back to find us? No. A job led him through here. It's a blessing he stopped by. Is he coming back? He said he was. He said he wanted to spend some time with you. What do you think about that? I think I'd like that. When he comes back, I want you to treat him with respect. No back talk. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. So why do we stop? We're only a few miles from Dogma. I want you two to go in alone. What do we do when we get there? Wait for me. <sighs> Anything else? Yeah. 
Y'all come across the law, man. Y'all split up again. Why? If you go up against someone like that, you go alone. Tell them you're a minor. Don't mention me. Don't mention the others. You've both been riding all night. You might want to get some rest. fella about the money yeah uh, I don't know sure seems to have a lot of it sure does and you're right this sure beats mining seems to me the risk is about the same I think so just last week old Frank Robinson was killed down in the hole his family was left with nothing I don't want to be like that I want to make a name for myself. Yeah. Fill our pockets some of that gold we've been hearing about. Yep. Head off somewhere in the sunset. I think I see someone. Can't make out who it is. Could be the law. What should I do? Just act normal. And remember, you're alone. Where are you heading, boy? Just going to the brothel for the evening. You some kind of a cowboy or something? No, sir. I'm a miner. This here is just for protection. But well, I can't let you go through the dogma. I'm out here looking for some outlaws. For all I know, you just might be one of them. Do I look like one? No, to be honest, you don't even look like you know how to use that gun. I suggest you go back to where you came from. I'll show him I know how to use my pistol. What do you suggest, Marshal? <laughs> I think we better wait on that bounty hunter. He's got to know there's more than one of them here now. Well, that could take days. We don't have much choice, Frank. All your money, all your food, and all the water you've got. Miss Catherine? I don't have a whole lot of money. And the only food I have is enough for me and my guests. We didn't ask for no explanation. We asked for supplies. You don't scare me. Now leave my house. That's the wrong answer! I saw those two horses over there. They're ours now. Kill his ass! 
gas already. I gotta get this boat out of my way. Get me out of here! Damn, it's Leon. What happened to him? How many did you get? I didn't get any. Well, I can tell you where one is, right across the street. You're the bartender, right? Yeah. Marshal, is this all the men you got to help to defend this town? None of the others would lift a hand. He's held up over in the marshal's office. Slick one he is. Let's find out how slick he is. Bartender, you stay here and stake out the store. And Frank, you come with me. And let's go check on Catherine and William and make sure they're okay. Well, hurry back, I saw some running that way. How many did you see? Two of them. That doesn't make no sense. We better hurry and go check on Catherine and William. William! I need to tell you. Is this about you being my pa? So your mother must have told you. Yes, sir. She did. Did you see who did this? There was two men in the distance. And I'm gonna kill both of them sons of bitches. William, you don't even know how to shoot a gun. Yes, sir, Mr. Spellings taught me. You ain't going nowhere. You're my only son, you're my flesh and blood, and you're all I got left. did this. That there is Doc Wiley's handiwork. How about a game of five card stud? Okay. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Just got into town. You got friends around here, or are you just drifting? I used to ride with that man out there in the coffin. 
Oh, yeah? What was his name? Parker. He saved my life many times. I guess I couldn't return the favor. I hear Doc Wally fixed him up. That's right. Sure would like to meet this Doc Wiley. Thank you for fixing up my friend. I think he'd appreciate that. I'll pass the word on for you. Sure would like to tell him myself. You know where he lives? I don't think I can give you that information, mister. Won't turn over your friend, huh? <laughs> That's downright honorable of you. <laughs> Don't tell anybody that. You know, you might remember someone else who came in a few days ago. Who might that be? Robert Alley. Robert Alley. Yeah? That name's vaguely familiar. I hear he was shot down by a bounty hunter. Did you see that happen? Yes, I did. And? The bounty hunter drew faster. That's all there was to it. Did Robert mention who he was? What do you mean by that? Did he tell you he was one of the four horsemen? You mean the apocalypse thing? That's what I mean. Well, I never studied much about that biblical stuff. Did you believe it? I don't want to play five card stud. What game would you like to play? Well, wagers. I'd like to play some bets. What'd you have in mind? I'm willing to bet you 500 bucks that everyone in this town will be dead by sunset. Well, what do you think? Even me? I said everyone in this town. Uh, I don't think I want to take that bet. I think I'm going to find that doc. Give him some money on account of Parker. Hello there, Stanford. What brings you out here? Dr. Wiley, I was just visited by a man who's looking for you. Is he sick? No, sir. He's a friend of the man that the marshal and Mr. Spelling shot down. So what's he want with me? Well, he claims he's wanting to thank you for fixing his friend up and pay you something for your trouble. You think it's more to it than that, don't you? Yes, sir. This is a dangerous man, Dr. Wilder. I can feel it in here. This man's like a dark cloud over the whole town. He scares the hell out of me. So what do you think I should do, Stanford? Get into town and stay there. Get yourself around other people. Don't go anywhere alone. Well, Stanford, you must have thought mighty strong about this to leave your little perch at the saloon. I'm guessing I'll take your advice. It'd be the best thing. I'm glad to see you back up on your feet. Looks like that rest did you some good. What happened when I was out? More of those outlaws are here. How many of them are in town and where are they? A couple of them made out to Catherine's house. They shot her dead and that little girl that was staying with her. What you got in mind, Marshal? Let's take the one in my office where all the guns and ammunition are. We'll worry about the others later. 
Who knows? When they hear all this shooting start, maybe they'll come out and expose themselves. Camp Town races, blah, 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 do da, do da. Got him running. Landon, good to see you. Who the hell are these guys? This is a new gang. There's five of us now. These boys are ready to go. We can take this town, Landon. Yeah, we run into a marshal or something. He had us turn around and head back to town. We waited a few and came anyway. Yeah, bastard stuck a gun in Steven's face. <laughs> Not the first time, huh? How about tell me what's going on, Jarson? The only one that's been fighting so far is the marshal, the store owner, a couple other guys. The rest of the town's a bunch of chicken shits. What is wrong with you people? This is your town. This is your fight. Get in the fight. Come on. gonna do what the hell are you gonna do nothing get your ass out of here
I'm gonna kill you, you son of a bitch! You better stop talking and start shooting! Ah! Ah! I got you covered. Now go on out. What do you mean? I can take care of it myself. But Leon, just do it. Your partner. If you give up, I'm gonna make your death quick. If you don't, I'm gonna make you suffer. Yeah, wishful thinking. My mama was buried soon after the fighting ended and I held a ceremony. Now her and Leon both lay next to each other. As for the glass bullet necklace, well, I keep that in a safe place. I headed towards Lincoln County to start a new life. I don't call myself William anymore and I carry two of my own pistols. Just call me Billy. Billy the Kid.